All right, everyone. Super excited for what I'm about to show you today. Inverted objects, just like in the movie Tenet. After Christopher Nolan made The Prestige, which is, I think, the best magic movie out there, I've been a huge fan of Christopher Nolan. And then Inception, just messes with your brain, kind of like a magic show does. Those of you who know me know I'm obsessed with time travel, and when I heard Christopher Nolan was making a time travel movie, I lost it. I've been waiting for that movie to come out for as long as it's been announced, and in fact, I had tickets to go see it. Uh, not even the premiere, but like an early screening that they were doing, a special early screening they were doing nearby. I've seen it twice now, still trying to understand it. One of the most interesting things about the movie, <laughs> spoiler alert, is the concept of inverted objects, which are objects that are traveling through time backwards. And I realized, you know what? What if I made inverted objects? As a magician, can't I do that? So here are the inverted objects that I have. A uh, key. This is a uh, little jar of milk, a crushed can, and a torn card. Super excited to show them to you, but I'm sure you all are first wondering, how did I make these inverted objects? I don't know. See, if we're following the logic from the movie, technically, I don't need to know how to make them now. As long as sometime in the future I make them, I create the objects, and now all I had to do was just receive them as they traveled backwards through time, which I did. Okay. All playfulness and jokes aside, seriously, uh, what I'm about to show you are some magic tricks. Uh, but I want you to know that none of these are accomplished with video editing or uh, playing anything in reverse. Because when they film the movie, uh, you know, there are some shots that you can tell what, what they did is they filmed them and then they uh, played them in reverse. I'm not doing that. I'm 100% serious. I'm a magician using magic tricks to replicate the effects from the movie Tenet. You're seeing everything on this screen exactly the same as you would see it if you were right here with me live watching it happen. All right, let's get started. As you know, if you've seen the movie, you can actually make inverted objects fly into your hand. But it's gotta be an instinctual thing because even though it's flying up into your hand, from the perspective of the object, you, it, you're actually dropping it. You, it's just that you're seeing it happen in reverse. So I wanted to test that out. I thought that the key would be the easiest thing to test it with. So let's take a look at what that looks like. To get an inverted key to fly back into your hand, you need to have already dropped it. Watching one thing happen in reverse in the movie was pretty cool, but it was even cooler during the fight scenes or whenever something happened where you watch the sequence of things happen in reverse. So I wanted to see if I could replicate that with this torn card. With an inverted card that's been torn, you can not only undrop the piece that's been torn, but you can also take that piece and untear it back onto the card that is new. One thing the movie doesn't really talk about is how inverting food and drinks affects the way you eat them. So I decided to test that out with a little bit of milk. What happens if you invert a liquid like milk and then you try to drink it? That felt weird. And once I mastered inverted objects, I just had to have some fun with it. In fact, one of the most fun objects to mess with is a crushed can. Check this out. This can looks like it's been crushed, but if it's inverted, we should be able to quite easily uncrush it. Just like that. All right, guys, that's it for this video. Please subscribe for more videos in the future. Leave a comment if there is something you'd like for me to try to invert. Share this video with your friends. Go watch Tenet if you haven't seen it already. Thanks for watching. Take care, everyone. See you soon.